The less and less money you try to build a computer for, the more and more sacrifices you have to make. Weaker graphics card, low amounts of RAM, maybe a CPU with not enough cores, stuff like that. Now, imagine you could game and stream off a, off a single PC with six cores, 12 threads, a good graphics card, 12 gigabytes of RAM, a 128 gigabyte SSD, and one terabyte of hard drive space for under $250. Yeah, we're doing it. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your computer technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into PC hardware tech, gaming, streaming tips, news and reviews, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So make sure to drop us a follow and come, talk, and come talk some tech. As always, everything will be linked down in the description below. Anyways, let's get to the video. I was watching a David Does Tech Stuff video recently and he said something about being on the search for the best sub $200 gaming PC he can build. So hey, I checked some things and yeah, that's not easy to do if you want something that's actually good. But then something hit me, only $50 more and options open up a lot. And not only that, the ability to game and stream on the same PC also becomes viable for only $50 more than the $200 mark. So my secret? Well, it's no secret really. I love me some HP Z400 workstation customization and have done plenty videos on transplant builds using the Z400 platform, even flipping videos, flipping them for profit. I've even done a sub $250 gaming and streaming PC build video using a Z400. Linked above and down in the description, of course. But this time I wanted to go a little harder. More cores, more RAM, you know how it goes. So here we go. The system, HP Z400 workstation, Xeon X5670 six core, 12 thread, 2.9 to 3.3 gigahertz CPU, 12 gigabytes of RAM in triple channel, dual band wireless AC Wi-Fi card, fresh Windows 10 pre-installed by the eBay seller, 475 watt 80 plus bronze power supply, $151.03. Graphic card, Radeon RX 470, four gigabyte, for $92.44 with shipping and tax and all that. Final total, $243.47. Not bad at all. A quick note on the power supply. It comes with only a six pin PCIe power connector. So if you added a GPU that needed a different power connector than that, you'll have to use some adapters. Getting a graphics card with a six pin power connector would be ideal. I found this system on eBay, so it's technically a kind of deal that anyone can get. The part that's different for me, that would be different for you, is that I noticed the seller is located nearby. So I asked if I could just do a local pickup and save the $40 shipping charge, and they agreed. Piecing together one of these with my Z400 custom build guide, linked above and down below in the description, does make it, does make it doable for the same price. The RX 470 I also found on eBay and you can find tons of RX 470s on eBay for under $100 easy. I've bought about 10 of them now and at this point haven't had much of an issue with any of them. I will be showing benchmarks with both gaming numbers and gaming plus streaming numbers. The stream setup will include a camera, overlays, alerts, you know, the normal stuff you'd have for streaming. I'll be sure to show the settings used as well.
I have to say. After doing a little bit of pre-testing to figure out whether I would use the Radeon encoder or X264 CPU encoding for the streaming benchmark portions, I was pleasantly surprised to see that this thing was strong enough to roll with X264 CPU encoding and everything still be playable. Doom Eternal had a small hiccup that required the FPS to be capped in game for it to stream smoothly, but that wasn't a huge deal. Even with VSync, triple buffered, it still played great. Everything else still played well. Color me impressed. A lot of times sacrifices made due to budgetary constraints can result in a degraded experience for the player or the viewer with gaming and streaming build like this. This thing proved otherwise. If you're trying to get your feet wet in PC gaming and streaming but don't want to break the bank, this $250 setup does a great job for that given its cost. And both the streamer and the viewer can enjoy the games pretty smoothly. Quick note, if you did want to let the CPU breathe a little, using the Radeon AMF slash VC encoder is still definitely an option. It just gave me a funny behavior in Warzone, but that may just be a fluke. The other $250 gaming and streaming build video I did that's linked below covers the Radeon encoder setup if you wanted to go that route. So boom, sub $250 gaming and streaming PC, and it certainly isn't bad. Sacrifices made, mm, only in the age of the parts, sure, but fortunately, they still hold up for the most part. Depending on the game, some CPU bottlenecking was definitely happening, but it didn't really affect the games that much. The good thing about this platform is that there are still faster CPUs to be had, like the Xeon W3690 that has a 3.4 GHz base clock with the 3.7 GHz turbo, and that's a 6 core, or the Xeon X5687 quad core, which has a 3.6 GHz base clock and a 3.9 GHz turbo. Either of these will let a GPU breathe better, with the 6 core being the best choice if you also want to stream, of course. Now with that being said, I am laying down the gauntlet right here and now. I'd like to see David Does Tech Stuff beat this. Wait, I'm not done yet. I'm also extending this challenge to my fellow tech fam homies, especially you, Nerd on a Budget, and Christopher Yee. But hey, why stop there? I really wonder if bigger YouTubers like Linus Tech Tips, J2 Sense, Bitwit, Paul's Hardware, Harris Heller, Tech Yes City, and Greg Salazar can beat this. Make some noise, people. I'd love to see all these creators tackle this challenge. Show me what you got. Anyways, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I'm done here. Follow on Twitch for streams every Friday night, 8 p.m. Pacific, and let's hope to see some of these people take this challenge. All links down in the description below. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh, we got related videos. Click over here. One of these, either of these, all of these. Hit the subscribe button too, but check out some of these other videos. We got lots of stuff, good stuff. All right, everybody. Bye.